You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk shock absorbers used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. To disassemble the front shock absorbers, it is first important to remove the windscreen bay and the windscreen wipers. Before removing the windscreen wipers, place adhesive tape in order to keep a precise indication of their location at the end position. This will make it possible to correctly position them when reassembling. Remove the nut covers from the wiper arms and using a ratchet and a 16mm socket, loosen the nuts. Remove the windscreen wiper arms by making small movements up and down. If they're not coming out, we recommend taking windscreen wiper remover to facilitate the process. Next, using a pry bar, remove the plastic rivets from the half windscreen frames. Lift the half windscreen frames at their junction to unclip them. You can now disconnect the two washer pump fluid hoses. You can now remove the half windscreen frames. Using a pry bar, remove the rivets holding the textile trim on the lower frame. You must now move the brake fluid reservoir. To do this, unscrew the two screws using a Torx 25 socket. Using a pry bar, unclip the clip nut on each side of the protective textile trim. Remove the fuse box cover. Using a socket wrench, an extender and a 10mm socket, unscrew the two screws holding the lower windscreen frame. Then remove the lower windscreen frame. Move aside the protective textile trim. Using a socket wrench and a 10mm socket, unscrew the four nuts holding the axis hatch to the suspension strut support bearings. Remove the hatch to the suspension strut support bearings. To facilitate access to the support bearings, disconnect the windscreen wiper motor. These elements can often get jammed, so use penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. Using a ratchet and a 19mm socket, unscrew the nut on the shockhead by a few threads.
losing the stud bolts on the front wheels. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Raising Your Vehicle Safely before carrying up this step. Lift the front of the vehicle. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. You must remove the wheels in order to change the front shock absorbs on your car. This will give you full access to the suspension system. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Disconnect the ABS sensor cable. You now have to remove the upper ball from the sway bar link. To do this, take a 16mm spanner and a 5mm Allen key. Brush the two screws of the shock absorber base and spray them with degreaser. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the two bolts holding the shock absorber base. Prepare a stable, elevated surface to place all the stub axle once you've removed it. Remove the two bolts. Disconnect the shock absorber base from the stub axle. The base of the shock absorber should now be free. Hold the shock absorber with one hand and finish unscrewing the retaining nuts with the other. Remove the shock absorber. In order to change the shock absorber, you must now separate it from the spring. You can find in the description the tool we use in the video which we think is most adapted to the operation. Careful! Pay attention as you compress the spring. This is not without risk and should be undertaken paying very careful attention. Install the shock absorber on the tool, then tighten the mobile flange against the spring, controlling its position carefully. Check that they are properly held by the locking studs, then slowly compress the spring using the socket wrench and the appropriate socket. Once the shock absorber is free in the spring, you can use a 19mm offset wrench and a 7mm allen key to unscrew the suspension strut support bearing. You can also use the specific tool used in the video, which will make your task much easier. In the most extreme cases, you have to use an impact wrench. Then, remove the suspension strut support bearing assembly. Remove the shock absorber from the spring. Ok, guys, if we can share this video with you and help you save a lot of money, is also thanks to our partner, Mr. Otto. So, if you want to support us and buy the part for this operation, visit their website. Ok, back to work. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Before installing the new shock absorbers, it is necessary to prime them by pressing the shock absorber rod vertically so that the gas and the hydraulic fluid are separated. Unscrew the lock nut on the stem. Position everything in the spring. Then install the shock absorber stop, the protective sleeve, the rotating stub in the support bearing. the upper shock absorber support. Position the assembly on the shock absorber rod. Be careful to position the spring against the shock absorber flanges and finish by screwing the nut on the shock absorber mount. 
tightly, fix it in place using a 19mm offset wrench while holding the stem with 7mm Allen key. Unscrew the spring compression tool, paying attention to the position of the spring on the lower shock absorber support. You have now finished preparing the new part. Put the new shock absorber in place using the upper part. Put the upper support bearing back in place, then screw the retaining nut on the suspension strut support bearing using a socket wrench until it makes contact. Thread the shock absorber into the stub axle. Then put the bolts back in place. Tighten the nuts with a torque spanner. Put the sway bar link back in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Clip the ABS sensor hose back in. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put your car back on the ground and block the wheel securely. Finish tightening the suspension strut support bearing nut with the vehicle on the ground using a torque wrench. Reconnect the windscreen wiper motor. Install the access hatch to the support bearings. Then screw it back on. Put the protective textile trim back in place. Refit the clip nuts. Put the lower frame back in place. Then screw the nuts back on. Refit the rivets of the protective textile trim. Put the fuse box cover back in place. Position the half windscreen frames. Reconnect the washer pump fluid hoses. Install the rivets holding the half windscreen frames. Then, clip the half frames back on. Screw the brake fluid reservoir back in. Reassemble the windscreen wiper arms without exaggerating when tightening them in place.
Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.